Growing up in England, reading American books and watching American films and TV, I deduced that pants, biscuit, chips and fanny don't mean the same in the US as they did at home. But I thought I was on familiar ground with the word please. Technically, please does mean the same thing in both Britain and the USA, but I had absolutely no idea it is deployed quite differently on our respective sides of the Atlantic until the piñata of my ignorance was smashed open by linguist Lynn Murphy, who has been researching please. Several people have observed that the British tend to say please twice as much as Americans do, but they generally hadn't looked at if there was a reason for that other than just assuming that the British are more polite. And so we wanted to go in and look at when Americans and British people are using please and see Is it just that Americans don't bother as much? Or are they using the word for different jobs? Lynn is an American who's been living in England for the past several years. It's not that one group is more polite than the other. It's that they've got different rules. And and if if you're following the rules the right way, you'll, you'll get along. You know, when I first moved here, people would say to me things like, oh, in America, you don't say please. And I'd say, pardon me, we certainly do. You know, my mother drilled it into me. You have to say the magic word before you can have anything. But after people said this to me a few times, I started to notice that when I went out to dinner with my English friends, if I ordered first... I just say, I'll have the Diablo pizza or whatever. And my friends would all say, can I please have? And then when my family would come to visit, they'd order things at restaurants. And I'd just have to say, please, at the end of each thing they ordered, because I'd become so conscious that it was missing in American speech and in the English context. And I wrote about this on my blog, and a lot of people wrote in and gave their their feelings about it. And the, the theme of the post by British people was, if you don't say please, you sound bossy. And the theme of the American commenters was, if you say please, then you sound bossy. How am I ever going to master these invisible rules? For reinforcement, here's the linguist Raquel de Felicia, who's been working with Lynn Murphy on the research into please. It's basically about what um, the different groups of people translate please as in their heads. You know, there's the translation of please as I am asking you something. This is just a a little flag that I'm asking you something. And there's a translation of please as I am being a polite person asking you something. And they're quite different things. 